Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a hair tutorial. It's been a long time since I have done a hair tutorial and this is kind of something that I've been wearing lately and I absolutely love this hairstyle. It's like one of my favorite hairstyles as of last week and I knew I had to film it for you guys right away. It's super easy to do, minus the extensions. In this video, I'll show you how I install my inst install, <laughs> how I, I guess install, right? You install hair. And this is day three old hair, so I'm gonna give you some tips on how to work with dirty hair, okay? If you guys are interested in the products I'm wearing on my face here, I have a video coming out on this makeup tutorial. It's gonna be the next tutorial that I put up. It's gonna be all on this makeup look, and I share some of my tips that I learned from Patrick Ta. He's a celebrity makeup artist, I'm really excited about it. So wait for that video to come out, and let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this Whey Dry Shampoo Foam. I take about this much, I don't wanna get too crazy. And what you do is run this through your roots. All I do is I just start running my fingers through the crown of my head and I actually just rub it in until I feel like it's not in a mousse texture anymore. Really rub it in until it like dries out. And then look at what happens. We're voluminous people, we're voluminous. My hair looks really crazy right now, I am aware. You know, my hair is like super, super, super crazy looking. So see how that gave us a whole set of volume? That's what we want. I'm gonna take the front of my hair, pull it down, clip the rest back. This is an important step for this hairstyle, I feel like, because you wanna have a nice swoop to your hair. Whether you have short bangs or long bangs, you can do this. If you don't have bangs, just pull the front of your hair down, whichever part is gonna swoop, right? Because that's important for this hairstyle. So I'm gonna take the brush and blow this out in a downward and inward motion so that I get a lot of volume. So here we go. So then after you've done that, you get this nice little McDonald's swoop. So as I'm styling my hair, I'm gonna flip my bangs over the opposite direction of how I want my flip to go once I'm done. It's gonna give you more volume. It's gonna set like this so that when you go like that, you have more volume. Does that make sense? That makes sense to everybody? Okay, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of my hair down. And for this look, I use extensions. And these are from The Hair Shop. These were 18 inches, but I cut them shorter because I wanted a more shorter look. They're really nice because they are super thin wefts thinner than most extensions. They have a lot more brown in them than my last extensions did, so they match perfectly with my hair color. I will put in the description box the hair color, the type, and everything. I'm going to just clip these in, starting from the bottom and working my way up to the top. I like to give my hair a little tease when I clip them in. Boom. I'm gonna start by using this three clip weft, putting that to the bottom. Ideally, you want a straight part in the back of your head, but I kind of just, you know, eyeball it with my hands and hope for the best. I think really when clipping in extensions, the best thing is to give it a little tease at the root so that way they sit comfortably and you don't feel like it's pulling on any little hairs. Because if you do it without teasing it, it just kind of sits on your silky hair and sometimes it'll pull on little hairs, so you want something for it to hold on to. This is another three clip weft that I'm clipping in. I will say I feel like one pack of these, these come in six. I felt like it wasn't enough hair, so I had to get a second pack. If you have naturally thick, luscious, beautiful hair, one, you're very lucky, and two, you're not gonna need to do this step. You can go ahead and skip this step. Stop! <laughs> I'm just over here with all my broken rooster hairs, you know? When you tease your hair, teasing isn't always the best thing for your hair, but I don't tease up and down, I just tease up, and that's gonna avoid more breakage. Do you see this? This is why you don't over bleach your hair because stuff like this starts happening. We don't want this. PSA for all of you out there. All right, so here we go with this one. Boom. So I have two of each of the clips. If you buy one pack, you only get one three clip, one four clip. I have this trick that I do also with my extensions and my broken hairs, if you guys struggle with broken hairs as well. Sometimes I'll take like these little broken hairs, for example, if I don't want them sticking out all over the place, I'll kind of tuck it back into this and then clip 
the extension right there. Do you see that? So that broken hair will never like come out in pictures. That's my tip for everybody. I just started doing that and it's been working really great for me. Okay, so now we have these two clip wefts. I'm gonna put this two clip weft over here. When you clip in your extensions, as long as you're not clipping any hair that's held up, you're gonna be fine. If you put a clip on top of hair that's going up, once you put it down, it's gonna like stick out and it's gonna look all crazy. So teasing and really making sure you're not on any of this hair that's up is the key in my opinion. This is multiple tutorials in one because you know, this is how to style dirty hair, extensions, and then also the hairstyle itself. Now we have all our hair clipped in. I decided which way my hair wanted to part. I know my hair is temperamental. I don't really decide which way it wants to part. It decides which way it wants to part. So if your hair is like that as well, then just keep that in mind. Play with it and see which way it looks better. If you guys notice, I already have that swoop and that's from the blow drying. And that's very key to this hairstyle in my opinion. Now I'm gonna go into the curling of it. I'm gonna part about half of it up and just clip it back. The curling iron that I use is also key, like this size. I'm gonna have to put in the description box what size this is, but this is from Conair. I love cheaper curling irons. I just feel like they always come through for me. And this one, I love it so much because it gives the perfect soft wave. It's not too tight, not too loose. It's just perfect. This one is Conair Infinity Pro. So I'm gonna grab one section of my hair. This is about an inch to an inch and a half chunk of hair. And I'm gonna place the barrel closer to the top and give it one twist away from my face and hold it for like a second or two and then slide down to the next inch, slide down to the next inch and kind of just run it all the way down but keep the least amount of heat on the ends. Like I'm kind of just driving by the end. It's a quick drive-by. This is what we're looking for, this kind of curl. It's very effortless. It's almost like a blowout type of curl. Let's try this again. Start with the clamp at the very top almost, away from the face. Hold it there for a few seconds. This is where I hold the curling iron the longest because the top is where I want most of the volume. And I slide it down, slide it down. The rest is really quick. And then barely any at the ends. Very soft, romantic. Let's do this bottom piece. And it's a quick hairstyle to do. It takes not that much time at all because you're not holding the curling iron for that long. So holding it the most here, away from the face. And then once I get to the end, I just slide it through. Moving to the other side, we're gonna take this from the top, away from the face, holding the most heat here. It's like a drive-by curl, okay? Like, boom. The great thing about this hairstyle is that it looks so good next day. It looks even more effortless, and then you could just run through the curling iron really quickly for the top pieces and just touch it up. If I didn't have to clip in the, in the extensions, it would take me just 10 minutes, if that. Like, I just run through so fast. The less you try, the better the curls look. And I do all the curls in the same direction. You could actually do them all in the same direction, or if you want a different type of look, you could do some away from your face and some in towards your face. It's gonna look really pretty if you guys wanna try that as well. As you can see here, this is the effect that we have going on. And I don't use any hairspray because I don't really like hairspray, but if your hair needs it, then use it. But I just, I can't stand hairspray in my hair. I just don't like the feeling, but I'll show you what I do use instead. I kind of do this little, you know, with my fingers. I don't know why, but I just see hairstylists do it to me when they do my hair. So I'm like, let me do it as well. See what happens. You don't want a super tight curl. You want this to look effortless. So that means that you want a lot of space in between the curls. So for example, the hair here is really close together. That's not what you wanna do because that's gonna give you like a tighter curl. We want a more effortless curl. So what you're gonna do is hold it at a diagonal. And if you see here, there's like a lot more space in between the two curls. I feel like that's the common issue with a lot of styles is that they'll hold the hair too close in the curling iron. Not a bad thing, but it's not what you want when you're going for effortless curls. Do you see what's happening here? Things are happening, starting to shape up. The top of my hair, since I have such short pieces here, so I don't wanna curl the base of this. Every other hair up until the top, I've started really closely to the root, but I feel like when I try to do that at the top, my short hair becomes shorter and it doesn't really blend with the extensions all that well. So I like to start at the very bottom, just in this section. 
because I don't want the top of my hair to be super curled. I get these broken hairs, mix them with my extension hairs, twist them a little bit, use this friction method. I don't know what it is, but I twist them together so that they kind of blend into each other and give me that like wind blown type of look. See what I'm saying? Like, a, like there's a fan under me. So now we're moving on to this side. This is the last part of the hair. Same technique. I just put my bangs back right now so that I could get to all these hairs underneath. I'm not putting a lot of heat on the bottom of my hair, but I still run the curling iron through the bottom because even with beach waves, like the last thing you want is like a curl and then a straight end. You kind of want it to fall naturally. Like you don't want it to look like pin straight with like a really big curl, right? You want it to have a flow all the way down. So even though these ends are straight, they're not going just straight. They're going with the curl, but just straighter than the rest of the curl. All right, now we're putting down the bangs and look at what the bangs look like. And this is purely because one, we used that dry shampoo foam, which gave us a lot of volume, but also because we round brushed it and that's gonna give you that swoop, the way I round brushed it. That's a very important key to this hairstyle. You could even take your curling iron, be very careful, but like run it through your baby hairs up here if you have any going on. And the only place I would put hairspray if I'm going to would be in this area to kind of hold down baby hairs, but I don't put it throughout the rest of the hair. You wanna run through one time, do this little shh, 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 shh. Sinri taught me this. She does this to my hair, honestly. I'm pretty sure she has like some type of product in her hands when she's doing it, but I'm, I just do it and it makes everything look better. Thank you so much. And then this is the last and pretty much the only thing I put down here in this part of the hair. It's the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. I think this stuff is just magic in a bottle. This is gonna give you that like messy, tousled look. This is what Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen always used in their hair. You know when they had that like bedhead look and it was all the rage? This is what they used. This stuff is so good. So I kind of just lift and spray it in the undercarriage. All right, I'm pretty, this is it. I think I'm done. Right, so this is the finished hair look. I love this hairstyle so much. It literally is just so feminine. It's so pretty, it's easy to do. You can wear this hairstyle for three days straight. I swear and touching it up is gonna be so easy to do because it's quick. So let me know what you guys thought of this video and if you want more hair toots. This is one that I'm really, really liking right now. If you do recreate it, tweet me your photos of your hair. I'd love to see how it turned out and if those little tips really do help you guys. Uh, yeah, that's everything. So I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you in my next one.